What is going on guys? We are back for Berlin Vlogs, day four. As you can see, I'm rocking my new Bayern Munich jersey with Renato Sanchez on the back. Uh, today, it's quite an exciting day for the moment as right now we're heading up to the Olympic Stadium to take a tour. As this, this ground is very special to me, as I said in a previous video, that Pirlo is one of my favorite players ever. And this is where he played his last game for Juve in the Champions League final in 2015. So I am mad excited for this. There she is, in all her glory, the Olympic Stadion. The 2015 Champions League final was played here. And the last couple of DFP Polka finals were here, where Bayern Munich have won, Wolfsburg have won, and Bayern again. But um, it's quite special this place. Also some dark times with uh, a Nazi Olympics taking place here. But a lovely stadium nonetheless, it has in. I just so supposed to be here. I was here, like I said, in previous vlogs, three years before previous, but this time is better. I'm taking a tour. I'm getting to look around the dressing rooms that um, heroes of mine played in, and I couldn't be more um, excited. So, um, what we've learned so far. Um, basically, this, the whole stadium was uh, is preserved because uh, under some German national uh, rights. And uh, okay, getting a bit excited now because we're actually entering the stadium. I'll talk more about that later. But for now, I'm going to show you um, the stadium itself because we're literally just about to enter the playing field. And it is awesome. Let's get this. You can see now I'm inside the stadium and we're currently in the curva area. This is where the Curva sit every home game for Hertha Berlin, making all their noise, cheering the team on. Also, another fact about Hertha Berlin, they haven't won a league title since 1931. They did win the second division, but like he didn't mention any of that. And see the boxes over there? Boom, 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 boom. 65,000 a year for 10 people. And then we have um, Bayern Munich, which he told me, the jersey I'm wearing today. Whose um, uh, boxes cost two hundred and fifty thousand a year? That's insane. Um, have I learned anything else so far? Yeah, um, not much about football, hasn't I? Uh, they have to rebuild the stadium inside, like new structure under the roof because of them. Um, as I've already said, this is like a heritage site, so they couldn't actually um, touch it. Um, right now we're moving on to the south side of the stadium to learn more. This bell, as you can see, was the Olympic bell of that bell tower over there. And as you can see, well actually you probably can't, here we have a swastika. And what I've been told, there's this hole was shot into the bell to symbolise the death of the enemy in World War II. Because here is the year 1936, and the year the war began, so basically... It's a symbol that um, the war had finished and Germans had been defeated. Also, you could see the German eagle and uh, the Olympic rings. He was telling me the Olympic rings are usually down here, but um, this was symbolising um, German power uh, because this is the Olympics that was held in 1936, close to well when the Nazis were taken over. So this eagle carrying up the um, ring symbolises um, German power during that time. Right now we're heading into the Hall of Honor, which I'm guessing honors people, or it's VIP box, I'm not actually sure. Kind of got mixed up here. Some old um, pictures of the Olympic Stadium back in the day. There's it in the olden days, I'm guessing. Yeah, the Hall of Honor is just the VIP box. Very nice P VIP box. I've never been in a VIP room, not even a Chelsea. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Holy shit. Look at the view you get from the VIP box. Halfway line seats. I'm not like a big um, VIP box man, but these are stunning seats. Absolutely unreal. <laughs> the seats are comfy as hell. You could have a sleep at half time if you want to like, arrive early, have a doze. Oh, this is a life. Imagine having a seat here every week. Right now we're looking from um, one of the um, posh balconies. And if you look right here, 
that used to, that balcony used to have the name uh, the Führer's balcony. So basically, any events that took place here, this is where that's where Hitler would have um, stood to watch the game here in the um, in the Olympic Stadium. And uh, also, this is where um, this is the box if, uh, during the German Cup finals and other events that took place here. This is where um, Angela Merkel would sit and during the DFB Cup final, the, uh, as he was saying, the bosses of the teams are in it. So, Uli Heiner's would maybe have sat there, the Dortmund man would have sat there. And um, also Joachim Lowe comes here a lot. But yeah, as I was saying before, I wouldn't mind sitting here every week to watch the game. Unbelievable view. The pitch site at the moment at the glorious Olympic Stadium. I think uh, the dugouts are meant to go over there and there. Hopefully one day I'll be in one of these dugouts. Leading my team to glory in this amazing stadium. But look at this. Look at it. It's unreal. Damn. Who wouldn't want to play here? Oh, look how many people you'd be playing in front of. Um... Oh, we haven't. What else did we learn about this other oh, grass? Yeah, that's a change. They change the pitch like I think three times a year because of um, damage and stuff like that. Currently in the tunnel at the moment of the Olympic Stadium, there is the Olympic Stadium and all its glory. You see, in here is where a lot of teams will do them, um, their interviews. Players there, you can see back there is um, where they'll have all the logos and stuff for the DFB and the Bundesliga. And Hertha Berlin. We're about to go into one of the dressing rooms now. I don't think there'll be any jerseys up because, like they said, um, I was told it's owned by the state and it's not owned by Hertha itself. That's why there was no dugouts either. So we've now just left the chapel of the Olympic Stadium. I didn't really want to film inside it because I thought it might be disrespectful. But um, I did find out that um, five of the teams, like so five teams in total, have um, a chapel and that is Hertha, Schalke, uh, Frankfurt. Um, and he didn't know the other people. I'm guessing it's Hamburg because uh, Hamburg have a graveyard where they can bury their fans. So they must have a chapel as well where they can do the ceremony. Now we've come across a hall where they've shown jerseys from the last uh, couple of finals: 2005 shock and Bayern, 2006 Nuremberg and Stuttgart, 2007 Bayern and and Bremen, 2009, 10 even Bremen and Bayern, 2011 Duisburg. Nuremberg, 2012, Bayern and Dortmund, 2013, 2014, Bayern and Dortmund, and 2015, Dortmund and Wolfsburg. Well, that is the end of my tour of the Olympic Stadion, but he said I'm not actually, you know, go around and look around at stuff, so I'm going to do that. Um, right now, I'm just, there's my view of the pitch down there, and I'm going to show you something. See these, um plaques here it tells you all the winners of the olympics who's gotten gold boxing um running i'm guessing rudan there's boxing spieler playing off football italia there you go handball deutschland so yeah it tells you all the teams who've won gold medals here as well now i'm going to show you the pitch because you get an insane view of the pitch from here as i'm not going to lie it's absolutely beautiful it's miraculous spectacular you know what i'm just gonna stop talking and show you look at the view you get see down there right down there i think i think that's where they do the trophy presentations for the teams like who win the dfb and world cup but look 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 greats have come here like Andrea Pirlo played his last ever game for Juve here. He won the World Cup here. DFB Cups have been played here. I think the Women's World Cup was played here at one stage. It really is quite an amazing stadium and structure. As in, imagine being the home team in the stadium, playing your football here week in, week out. That's, this one must feel like to be a West Ham fan this season, I have to admit. Playing in an Olympic stadium uh, for the season is absolutely unreal. Right now, I am going to show you what I said. Uh, I'm going to show you the bell tower. I'm going to show you where he had that speech that the tour guide was on about with Mussolini. So, um, here we're, we're passing the um, Cotillion with all the uh, Olympic winners again. And now we're coming up to the bell tower. See? Across there, I think it's called Mayfield, isn't it? Or Mainfield. There. 
there was um, um, was with Mussolini, like I was saying, and he uh, just got rallies around his people. He was saying people were there, people were there. And the balcony you can see over there with the bell tower is where he made his speech, and then he came across where I am into the Olympic Stadium and kind of showed all his might. But like, it's destroying himself as such an evil man as had all this power over people, as in, you got, you have to think, he, he, he was an amazing um, speaker and how he got people to believe in his um, evil ways. So right now we are heading to the Amateur Stadion, which is the home of uh, Hertha Berlin 2, uh, which are a uh, fourth, yeah, fourth division team in Germany. And you can see it over there with the blue and white roof, and there's a couple of floodlights to it. Yeah, I was, I'm hoping to get to a game here on um, Sunday, I think it is. But I don't think I will because uh, I think we're going out to somewhere else that day. But uh, yeah, just in case I don't get to uh, go to a game here, I said I'd have a look at the stadium. We have the amateur stadium where um, the Hertha Berlin second team play. I am trying to find a way in, but um, it's not really going according to plan, if you ask me. Um, because uh, there's a lot of fencing around, I thought, you know, just be able to walk in. It's very guarded. A lot of these, like, lower league teams around uh, the rest of Europe, like in England and Ireland, are very well guarded, but I don't think I'll be able to get in anywhere. But even, like, this is the closest I'll get, because this is the closest I'll get, because I think. But, yeah. There we go. The amateur stadion. Wait a minute. I think... I see a way in over the far side, so I'll have a look. From what I'm getting, I've uh, come all the way down here. Uh, you pitches are um, done. I've watched you pitches. But my thing, there's a, see, there's a cameraman, and there's more people than usual. So by my taking, I think I've stumbled upon the first team training session. And look at this. No security guards. No nothing. You can just waltz in and look at the training session. So as you can see, we're back at the training pitch. Over there is where the Hertha Berlin team are training today. Uh, today's turned out to be quite a good one. Little bit shut in now. What Hertha Berlin train? Uh, they're still um, only doing a uh, football tennis at the moment. But uh, you know, good to see them getting a bit of match practice uh, today before the season kicks off in two weeks. It's empty around here, and that means training's over. I did get to meet uh, the Berlin Hertha Berlin manager. Ronnie, one of the other Berlin players, and John Anthony Brooks, one of the American players. I did also meet um, the um, US men's national team um, media dudes, and they gave me this USA badge. So, that's been a pretty good day in my book. I've uh, done a stadium tour, watched them train for a bit, and now I'm heading off to um, the Hurst of Berlin shop to, you know, buy myself a souvenir of this uh, glorious day. Uh, it's time to say goodbye to the uh, Olympic Stadium for now as I have to head back to meet the family. Uh, it's been an enjoyable experience at the Olympic Stadion, um, you know, and going to the uh, meet, going to the training session, meeting Anthony Brooks and Ronnie and getting to explore a bit of history about this place, like how um, it was used during World War Two for some of Hitler's speeches and how, um, uh, what, uh, what type of like T uh, teams play here like Hertha and the DFB Cup final and when the Champions League final was played here and uh, what basically goes on for a match day at the Olympic Stadion well after a lovely Italian dinner uh, we've decided to go back to where the Bayern Munich story is uh, Pot Semmerplatz in the Berlin Mall I think the rest of them are gonna you know go to a cafe and uh, I'm gonna have a look around the shops again well as you can see I'm back in um, the Berlin Mall and I made another purchase in the Bayern Munich store. Uh, and the reason why I did that because in Hertha, at the Olympic Stadion today, they were looking for a 4.95 for a badge, which is a fiver, really, if you think about it. And then for a, for a, a set of three in the Bayern Munich store, they were looking for a 10. And as you can see by my lovely hat here, I like to collect badges, so um, I pop, pop, picked myself up a, a three badge set. And um, yeah, I got one that said, you'll never walk alone, four in a red. And then uh, the other one is just um, a picture of like kind of a city thing. Well, guys, I think I'll have to end the 
running vlogs here for day four as uh, not a lot of power left and I don't think it'll get me until I get home. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Berlin Vlogs. Please remember to um, share it around on the social media. Uh, like it. I'm loving all your comments. I'm reading them all. I haven't replied to them all yet. But, and also, remember, subscribe.